Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy A T. Today, bro, we back with uh, yet another Saints reaction, review, whatever you want to call it, bro. You feel me? Like I told y'all a couple weeks ago, I'm not gonna be re reacting to any more highlights because of the copyright stuff and all that. So I'm gonna just come to y'all after every game with a little discussion video, just talking about what happened um, and how things went for that week. Of course, last week we lost to the Chiefs. I think 32 to. 32 to 29, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I was, I had some complaints about our defense. Well, first of all, I'm tripping, bro. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Happy holidays. Hopefully y'all enjoying your holiday. You know what I'm saying? Some good eating, some good family time. Hopefully y'all enjoying it, bro. But Saints played today, played the Vikings. We got a, a dub, you feel me? A pretty good dub, but it's still a little... For me personally, it left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth just because we gave up 33 points, you feel me, to the Vikings. Like, they were talking throughout the, the uh, game and said that the Vikings had, like, a a decent offense, but they were always just dealing with turning the, the ball over and, and um, Kirk Cousins getting sacked, so their offensive line wasn't too good. But I'm like, same time, like, let's look at the let's, – let's, let's look at Minnesota's schedule. And we're going to get into Alvin Kamara in a second, you feel me? Um, but they lost last week, scored 27 against the, the Bears. Lost against the, the Bucks, scored 14. The Jaguars, they won, scored 27. 28. 28. 19. 30 to the Lions. So the only team that gave up 30 points was the Lions, the Texans, Titans and the pa yeah Titans and the Packers. So I mean, really, I mean, I don't know, bro. Either way, thirty-three points to me. I felt like there was still some third-down plays where we could have gotten stops and we didn't. You feel me? Like we, I would say, as far as all of the uh, drives combined, I would say we probably probably like seventy percent of them we actually held it down. For that first quarter, it was definitely looking shaky. You feel me? But I feel like like towards the, the end of the second, going into that second half is like when we kind of started bunkering down on defense. Um, so we st like we held it down. Please don't get me wrong. Janoris Jenkins, I know he got that damn captain on his jersey. He had a couple iffy, iffy defensive plays, you feel me? Like, I don't know, because he got two pass interference calls back to back. The one that uh, was on Thielen in the uh, end zone, I think that was in the second quarter. Might have been the second or the third, but that one was a little iffy to me. Because they had caught one right before that. Then the one on Thielen put them on, like, the uh, one-yard line or something like that. That one was a little bit of an iffy call, but he still did get to him beforehand. So it is what it is, bro. But I feel like our defense, like, we we held it down, but we still gave up 33 points. You feel me? So if we didn't score 50-something points, this would have been a pretty close game. You feel me? But the offense, Drew Brees... He's back to looking like – no, I ain't going to say he's back to fully looking like himself. He was still covering up, you feel me? But when Drew Brees doesn't have pressure on him, he looks like the regular Drew Brees to a me. You feel me? He had like maybe two two to maybe three off passes throughout this entire game where he had no pressure. You feel me? He either just underthrew it or it was just a little bit off target. Only a couple of those. But when he had pressure, it was a lot of them that was underthrown. Where it was like he just trying to throw that bit, like all right, I'm trying to cover up. You feel I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to take no big ass hit. You feel me? Like if y'all didn't put me on the ground, I might be out of this bit. That's low key how he was playing, at least in my eyes. But overall, he still held it down. What did he? What did he throw today? And the fact last week you had people talk. Well, I mean, Drew Brees, uh, he wasn't looking like us. Yeah, he wasn't looking like himself. But y'all hyped up. Patrick Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes literally threw damn near identical games as Drew Brees, but they just won the game. Literally. Like, I'm going to go back to that in a second. But today, Drew Brees threw 19 to 26, so he didn't even throw too many passes, but he threw for 300. Hold on. 311 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions. That is a little iffy, though, bro. And he had, like, one or two other plays that could have been interceptions that was either dropped or something like that. You feel me? It's a little iffy that he ain't throw none, but that was because of Kamara. Shouts out to my boy Kamara. That man has six rushing touchdowns a day, bro. Now, I was a little sick because he had five, and we had the ball on the one-yard line. 
<laughs> I'm like, okay, Sean Payton, put him in. It was like four minutes on the damn clock, like maybe four minutes, 15 seconds. I'm like, all right, let's go ahead. Come here, about to get that six. Go crazy. He puts Taysom Hill in for the touchdown. I'm like, I mean, I'll take it. A touchdown is a touchdown, but it's like, damn, the nigga was right there. Like, it's a one-yard line. You don't think he could get that? I, mean, I don't know why he didn't put him in, but either way, defense held it down on the very next drive. He got the ball back with, like, two minutes on the clock. Maybe it was two minutes 15, but either way, we went right down the damn field. Kamara for a three-yard touchdown. That's six touchdowns on the day. That's tough, bro. And I think he had, like, what, 150? 155 yards on 22 attempts. That's tough, coach. Shouts out to that boy. They said I think he's the second person in, a, in a NFL history to uh, to score six rushing touchdowns in an actual game. But if you think about it, if uh, Sean Payton would have put him in on the the touchdown that Taysom Hill scored on the one yard line, and then he still got a chance to score that one, he really would have had the the actual record. But either way, he got six. It is what it is. A man was eating. As far as our offensive weapons that that we was missing today, or just personnel in general, we had Michael Thomas out, Deontay Harris was out, um, which I think this is the second week for both of them. Trey Hendrickson on our defensive line. I've been talking about him since the start of the season, bro, because I didn't know who he was at first. I just knew he was a white boy, number ninety-one, and I seen him get. I'm like, bro, this is he playing with some tenacity out there. You feel me? like he getting to it? You feel me? Like he got energy. He's he's doing his thing. But I didn't know who he was at the start of the season. He'd been making that damn name for himself for, for sure. Um, but he was out today. I think he either had a left or a right like shoulder injury from uh, last week. I remember when he got hurt towards the end of that game against uh, Kansas City. But like I said, bro, all the people who was talking about uh, Drew Brees had a bad game last week. I mean, I can understand it based off of him just – off of you just seeing 15 for 34, 234 yards – but he threw three touchdowns and only one interception. But then they hyping up Patrick Mahomes. Like, Pat Mahomes did his thing, you feel me? He did his thing. But at the same time, look at the stat line. Drew Brees threw 15 for 30. Hey, what? Got my nephews out here. It cribbing me, coach. Hey, Lee, what are y'all doing? Go downstairs. And I'm, I'm doing a video. I'm This man trying to watch dinosaurs, coach. <laughs> Either way, we ain't cutting none of this out. Either way, bro, they probably going to keep knocking at the door. Regardless, 15 for 34. So, that was, give me a quick second. This man going to bust down the door like he did or something. I'm doing a video. What am I doing? Goodness gracious. Jeez, kid, bro. They come here and ask me to put on dinosaurs every other day. <laughs> it could be 15 people in the house, and they're going to come and find me to put on dinosaurs on Netflix. <laughs> That's tough, bro. Either way, 15 for 34 last week. So, so Drew Brees missed, what is that, 19 passes were incomplete. Patrick Mahomes throws 26 for 47. So he threw, what, 13 more passes. Completed 11 more passes, but overall he still he still like he still had 21 incomplete passes, 254 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. But y'all hyping him up like he just went stupid crazy out. Like I'm like what? Like I get what you're saying, but him and Drew Brees wasn't that far off as far as you know. What I'm saying completion percentage at least. Like what are y'all talking about? Y'all acting like the man he threw three touchdowns. Like I get he was still looking off on some of it, but He's his first game back. Relax. You feel me? But either way, bro, my boys held it down today. What was the final score? 50, 52, 52 to 33. So we clinched up the division with this win. We play Carolina next week, boy. Hey, I told y'all last week I will be in the building for that Charlotte or for Carolina versus the Saints. I'm going to be there, bro. I'm going to try to live stream. I don't know how that's going to work as far as if I'm going to have a connection for the whole. Like, I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to try it. So, y'all, hey, I'm going to have it, like, scheduled as a live stream. So, y'all be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so when we go live, y'all get the notification. Y'all going to be right in there with me. You feel me? Now, I told y'all the seats we got is, like, somewhat nosebleed seats. And I think this this uh, game is on, like, the, the 3rd of January on a Sunday. 
in Charlotte. Um, it's somewhat nosebleed seats, but like I said, I got the new iPhone 12 with the telephoto lens. So I'm gonna try to zoom in for y'all if I if I just have to stay up there. But y'all know me, I'm gonna try to finesse it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do a little bit of walking around. You feel me? See if I can find a little gap somewhere where I can just you know what I'm saying? Where I'm a little closer than the actual nosebleeds and I can just chill there for the guy. I don't know how it's going to work with all the COVID stuff and all that. I don't know how they're doing it, but I know it's not going to be a packed out stadium. That's all I do know. I mean, I might try and blend in with uh, some of them cutouts they got out there. I think we about to go viral in this bit. <laughs> but hey, y'all be sure to tune in, bro. That's already locked, locked and that that move is in place. So we will be in, in the building for the Saints versus the Panthers game. I'm pretty excited because, like I said, this, this is my first Saints game ever that I've been to or that I'll be going to in person. And I'll get to see Drew Brees for possibly his last season, you feel, or probably his last season. So that's most definitely dope. I get to see my guy before he get up out of here um, and right before we gear up for this whole playoff push. Um, but either way, bro, like I said, we locked up the division. I think the only way we can win out and get that first round by is by uh, Green Bay losing their next two games i don't know if that would happen but we gonna wait and see if it does and we can win out or win against carolina we good to go you feel me and i'm guessing i'm not sure if michael thomas and deontay harris is coming and hendrickson i'm not sure if all three of them are supposed to be back next week or if they're just gonna wait till the first week of the playoffs i would think they're gonna try to at least throw them back in next week to get them a little bit acclimated like a little bit comfortable in it um but we gonna wait and see on that bro Either way, a tough win for my team or for the for the Saints today. Um, like I said, y'all let me know though. What do y'all think about our defense today, bro? Because like I said, we held it down on certain drives, like or on like seventy percent of those drives, we held it down. Seventy to maybe even eighty, somewhere in between seventy and eighty. So I'll say seventy-five percent. But the other twenty to twenty-five percent to third or the other twenty to thirty percent was a little iffy when we giving up. Like, especially on them damn run plays, bro. I'm like, my God, we can't get... I thought we were, like, top three in damn run defense. My nigga, like, what's going on? You feel me? Like, we were giving up some plays that was like, bro, we should we should have got a stop here and it would have been a turnover or a punt or something like that. But it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I know we need to still step it up a notch because it's 33 against the Vikings. I mean, we gave up only 32 last week against the damn Chiefs. You feel me? So that's how I'm looking at it, but... Either way, bro, still a good win for us. Like I said, y'all boys stay tuned for that game next week for the live stream. But, hey, man, I ain't really got too much else to say about it. Need y'all to get down there in the comments. Definitely let me know what y'all thought about this. If y'all got suggestions for new reactions, be sure to drop those down below as well. Hey, man, we on the road to 15K subscribers, 18. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch you on the next video.